Hi friends, what's this Kenta window? In our previous tutorial, we have seen how without using the mouse, by just pressing the various keys in the in our uh, keyboard, we can simulate the button clicks in that. So here we have not used mouse at all. So now we'll add the click event to a button also and see how we invoke or simulate the click event by while pressing the button or while activating the button. Just watch, I am pressing the click K. So when I am pressing the K, this particular message comes up. I have not used mouse here. I have just pressed the key on my keyboard. By invoking the command or whatever the click event we have programmed, that will also we can trigger. We'll learn all about this. We'll start from where we left it in the previous tutorial. It is, uh, we'll add one more label so we can clearly add it to our event. So. Here I just copied it, pressing the label 2 and below that. So next row it will go L2. Now here also I will give it as L2. And here you can see row I will go for next row. So I am below that. So I am saying it is row 2 and column 0. Now column span let me just because text is bit more. So I am giving it 6. So here let okay everything else remains same. And let me just change bit color. This yellow I will give light yellow or you can do light blue or anything so that's different now let's connect to click event to our uh, bk or the button having the text k so here i'll write me kick out here i am saying command equal to lambda now here <coughs> my click my click is what i am going to write it now this is once this button is clicked this function will be called now let me just move up I'll write here my click and before that also let me just see what I have to invoke I have to write here yeah, here already I have written you just see here here in this is particular this function is called whenever I press a key so whenever I am pressing a key up to this earlier we have discussed up to this line we have discussed now one more line wizard invoke this particular line holds the key this line what it does it invokes the whatever I have written in the command now so in the command I have written that here it is that call this function my click so it will just work in that way so once this K button is pressed because the K button has that particular command function so this invoke will call the function my click for which let me just write the command now I will come here here okay define my click my click is the function inside that if just one I, I'll write two two line of code here one is let's say print I am saying welcome welcome to plus two now this is at the console it will print and the next one is whatever the label we have just added sorry let it come here okay whatever the label we have added now that is l2 that I will config so I'll say l2 dot config config or configure now I am the attribute text attribute I am changing now here I am writing plus two net whatever you want to write write it here so now let it okay net here okay now that's all this will what happens whenever the K button is pressed why only K because I have written this command here so for the K button I have written this so whenever this button is K button in the keyboard I am pressing look I am not clicking using the mouse here I am pressing the keyboard so once the keyboard is pressed this one will match this invoke will be match for k then what happened my click function because it is written for the k so that will execute and this particular message message in the second label or the label which we have added that will display the message let's just test it so let us see how it coming yeah here it is if i am pressing a s d f this already we had seen that i am just caps lock on i am doing whatever i am doing it is taking care no problem but no message this message will change now i'll press k once i press k okay here i think the width i have to remove i have kept the width less let me just go back to l2 here i fix the width i should increase or default width i will give it so let me remove it <coughs> let me run this one again okay so a s d f whatever i am giving caps lock is on i am switching off whatever i am pressing it is fine the moment i press k 
you see this message has come because that particular function was triggered so this is one way of simulating a uh, by using the keyboard without using the mouse even we can invoke the functions also that's all friend this was a question asked so i'll just request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and if you have any doubts suggestion questions or any ideas use the comment section below to post it accordingly we'll work on it and please share this with your friends and thank you for watching